Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and uh, yesterday I had my last video, in my last video um, I had um, shown how I made an ephemera folio, mini folio sort of thing. Uh, let me show you. So it was something like this and I tried to do a process video of this. Unfortunately I was totally out of frame so all I could do was a walkthrough and I just showed how I put this together so if you want to watch uh, this video this is going to be a step-by-step -step process of how you can make a mini uh, folio like this you can add that to your journals and you can you know it can be anything like you can embellish them um, with a lot of things you can keep it simple you can add a lot of more pockets if your journal permits you can just slip it into a pocket um, and it, it you're good to go so basically that's that was the idea so I'm going to make this um, kind of uh, mini folder folio whatever you want to call it uh, but of course it's not going to be in one session it's going to take a while so I will be using some uh, papers that I had in my stash for a while I just need to use them uh, and um, these are some papers from TLC Creates Vintage I don't know if this kit is still available because it had been quite a while since um, I've, I've had that this kit and I also had printed it out long long time back um, and this is printed on ancient printer this is not your uh, digital or anything and I will be using scraps here and there uh, just so that uh, we can put this uh, together so uh, uh, initially what I had done was I reduced the size of the paper now just let me show you the details this is the printer uh, paper and I have just taken off the white edge that was there and uh, I will trim this uh, one and a half inch from the top so that it is uh, more or less um, you know it can be used in any journal that you are use, making so that's the basic idea so I'm going to take off um, one and a half inch from the top um, and I'll talk you through how what we are aiming to do so you can take it off a little bit more perhaps make it smaller so I'm taking off a uh, one and a three quarters of an inch and uh, yeah so that's it and uh, this is going to be our uh, base for our folio now don't throw this away you can make this into something else uh, or use it in the project itself I'll show you how um, so today I had been coffee dyeing um, in the afternoon so because I took I am taking some online classes um, uh, for my students uh, so I was busy in the morning and I as I promised I wanted to do this um, video now the one that I'm doing is a little bit shorter that doesn't matter because um, the purpose is the same and I'm going to score at um, one and a half inch or if you want to eyeball then that's okay too you just let me see where my uh, scoreboard is because uh, everything is lying here and there and I can't seem to find that scoreboard that's that's a shame uh, yeah I did okay uh, as I said I am totally right now in a mess because I have been teaching the whole morning and now I I was coffee dyeing some papers uh, tea and coffee solution the one that I use so here is my uh, paper okay and yeah so and what I'll do is I'll just um, where do I keep that scrap somewhere here probably I don't know I'll look for that later on anyways so here is the paper and I'm going to just score 
one inch from the edge so I'm going to turn this paper around you can make it one and a half inch uh, whatever suits you so one and a half inch it's going to be it's not much as you can see you'll have enough space to play with uh, because this is going to uh, this is going to fold this is going to fold over like so okay so I'm just folding this over and I'm going to turn this and I'm going to do the same okay so here is our folder ready so here I have the scrap that I should not let go now now what I'll do is I'll just I'll make a window pocket over here and at the back I'm going to make a double tuck so in that case I can use this up okay I can use this up and I'm going to line this with uh, some music paper or script maybe I don't know I'll just look for some music paper and I'll get back okay so I have some printable music sheets um, they are from I think uh, this one that I'll be using is from you call Preston so these are printables and um, I'm just going to take off the white portion and use this part maybe so I'm just going to take off so this can, will not be finished in one uh, part keep watching uh, because I don't want to extend the videos too much um, often what happens is when you're watching a long video um, people tend to skip parts and watch them so I'm better off with the idea that I'll make shorter videos um, so if you want you can slow it down there are options in the you know, video watching section you can slow it down and watch it accordingly so I'm just going to take off a little strip um, just to line this up and not going to take this I just want this busy portion okay so that's done and what I'll do is I'm going to create some pocket over here now because I'm lining this up uh, this is going to be pretty sturdy and I'm going to glue this up now you can use your glue stick also let me do that so I'm just going to glue this part up okay so I'm just going to put this over here I hope you can see what I'm trying to do so today we are just going to make these stuck spots or pockets or whatever and make some ephemera um, create some window tuck spots okay and I'll show you a trick how can how you can create window pockets without envelopes uh, so that's done I'm having a cup of coffee which is um, which was unlike me till a few months back but now with lockdown and stuff going on um, I have taken to drinking coffee late you know, I, I usually never used to drink coffee after 3 p.m. in the afternoon but now I don't care yeah so so what I'll do is I'm going to add this as a pocket okay so I'm going to add this and then you will see it's going to be a tiny tuck spot rather it's not going to be a pocket as such but I kind of like it so what we'll do is uh, we're just going to glue the two portions and then you can stitch this up so I'm going to just measure out 
measure out this portion. So I'm just going to um, measure out. I hope I'm in frame. So I'm just going to measure out the portion I'll be needing and I'm going to take off the excess. So yesterday I also did a bunch of stamping on scraps. So I'll do a video probably on how you can use your scraps by stamping on them. I know you people must be wondering why. Like Pramita, everybody knows that. And trust me, uh, with these printed papers, they already get a cool background. And um, so I'm just going to fold this. I don't need this portion actually. And I'm going to use this like so. Okay, so I'm going to make it like this. So you can see, I'm just going to glue the two ends. But before that, I'm going to... Um, add a little bit of paper at the lip. Why I'll tell you because it's going to strengthen the pocket. I'm weird in certain ways but uh, that's what I like to do. So this is going to be glued, uh, stitched. So no worries about that. So I'm going to take off the excess. This video is probably going to be around 20 minutes because more than 20 minutes my phone is going to give me trouble. And now when all the shops, most of the shops are closed and um, so this is how the back pocket is going to look. So we are done with that. I'm going to move this aside. Now on the front part. What I wanted was a window pocket. So I can do one thing. I don't want to see the blank portion. So I'm going to line this up. This is just a scrap paper as you can see. Sorry. Um, and I can also cover this uh, with the music paper. But I'm going to cover this with uh, this scrap paper. Why? I'll tell you. Because I'm going to create a window in that music paper. So I'm just going to glue this down. Okay. And now you don't have to be perfect in this because most of it is going to be covered up um, with the uh, you know the window envelope that we're going to create. So I'm just I'm going to take off the extra bit and it is a very very easy process and you can do it in any size uh, not too small because um, the smaller it gets you know the tactile elements become a little tricky when you put the things down so this is going to be the window okay and I'm just going to measure this out. So I I'm just going to measure this out so I don't need this. I'm just going to trim this off. So we have the front window over here. Now I'm going to cut a long strip like the one we did over here. Now this is again going to be smaller than this one because this was a little bit more tall and I'm just going to cut this out. So what I can do is, I'll show you the trick how you can do this. So you measure the width of the strip of paper that you're planning to create a window on. So I'm. this is around uh, a little bit more than one and a half inch. Let me have a sip of coffee. So, so this is one and a half inch wide, uh, a little bit more than one and a half inch. Just okay. So I'm not even going into the measurements as such. So I'll show you the trick. So just count the lines, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. So if I leave 3 from the sides, 3 lines from the sides, 
then three and three six and you're left with a six mark so one two three I'm going to leave four one two three four okay so my window is going to be of this size and I want the spindle to be tall as tall as this much not much so one two three four five six seven eight uh, one two three four and I'm going to mark it over here one two three four I'm going to mark it over here so I'm just join, joining these lines you can see how I'm this line is there this measurement is there and somewhere around here I'm going to put the third so this is going to be the first side okay. this is going to be a start to finish project so don't worry if you see that it is half finished it's not going to be half finished it's going to be completed so I'm just going to So this is a little bit wonky as you can see. I'm going to fix this because my ruler had moved. So I'm just drawing a rectangle. Now you don't need to worry because this is at the back. So if you trim this out you won't get to see it. Okay. So I'm just trimming this up. And uh, to trim that what you can do is you can just make a hole with your scissors and then you can cut this out I'll be back to show you how it looks okay so our window is done and you can see the back so now I'm going to ink up the edges on the front part we're not worried about the back um, and we are going to attach a piece of clear window material now I usually repurpose my packaging um, I keep those you know those transparent sleeves that um, many of the items come so I keep them and then I use them as window material or whatever if you have a punch if you have uh, some sort of a die you can use that also it, it is totally up to you how you want this to be done so I'll just show you um, so this is how it's going to look so if I'm putting this I think it's looking nice and uh, even though we don't get the music note but it's sort of uh, visible that you know that it is cut out from music sheet so that's okay you don't need to do that so now I'm going to attach some sort of a window material and I'll show you how I do that kind of plasticky transparent material that can be used and I generally use materials like this I don't throw them away uh, you can keep them you can use your acetates also but I'm I don't uh, I also use um, you know whatever uh, clear packaging that I I am able to get my hands on I keep them and then I start using them so that's another way of repurposing them also. So what I'll do is I'll cut a portion from uh, this side, okay? And then I'll stitch around it and I'll be back to show you how it looks, okay? So I'm back after I've sewn uh, the plastic material. Now it is a little bit crumpled, but um, it will flatten out somewhat 
uh, after I have put down everything. So this is how it's looking. It's very similar to the one but it's very difficult to create the same thing again uh, according to me. And if people do that they have uh, special qualities according to me. You know, I, I can never do that. Um, and I have all my respect and admiration for people like that. Really, honestly. Um, I will never be able to do that properly. So this is going to be uh, attached on the two sides and it will have a side opening. I can do the opening from this side also, from this side also, it depends. And that will come later on. So we have this side ready more or less and we have this portion that's going to be put on over here. And we also have the front pocket ready. So for the inside, uh, we're going to use some different papers and we're going to do the inside in the next part. So keep watching, don't go anywhere. I'll be back to show you how I'm going to do the insides and how I'm going to add more pockets and flip outs uh, in this mini area. So this is our workspace area. We will do whatever we will in this small tiny space. So you have to look, uh, you know, very uh, minutely at what I'm doing. And uh, it's not very difficult, but it just needs a little bit, uh, you know, calculating a few things. That's all. It's not difficult at all. If I can do it, then anybody can do it. So keep watching for the second part. I'll be back to show you the second part. So this is going to go up today. Hopefully this is going to be liked by you people. So if you like this video, please please give it a thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed then this is an earnest request that please do consider subscribing and if you would like to share this video you're more than welcome thank you everybody have a great day and stay safe